Okay, so I want to talk briefly about a really cool quote that re relates to the, the book, Even More Fantastic Failures, coming out next September with Beyond Words and Simon and & Schuster. And this book, Even More Fantastic Failures, is all about, you guessed it, even more fantastic failures. And we're talking about people who have done amazing things, people you and I have heard of, people like Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton, that awesome jam, amazing musical prodigy of a play, um, and other incredible people, Ayanna Presley, and, and people who have changed the world to do really cool stuff. People from a long time ago, like Joan of Arc and Socrates, um, people from all across the world. But the cool thing they all have in common is that they have failed, they've been rejected, they have struggled, they have had a hard time far and long before they did anything amazing, right? And that's what we want to think about. So the quote I want to share with you that relates to these really cool people who've done awesome stuff that will help us remember that when we fail, when we struggle, when we're rejected, there's nothing wrong with us. We're not abnormal. In fact, we're right along, uh, you know, marching along with people like um, Socrates and Lin-Manuel Miranda and John Cena and Ayanna Presley and these incredible people, right? So the, this is the quote I want to share with you. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And the quote right here is from this guy named Kierkegaard. And he says, to dare is to lose one's footing momentarily, but not to dare is to lose one's life. Right to dare is to lose one's foot is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose one's life. And what it means is that when we when we try something that pushes us beyond ourselves, something hard, something we're we're not guaranteed, it feels like we're losing our footing. Right, like we don't know exactly where we're stepping. We don't know exactly how it's going to end. But that's powerful. That helps us grow into the people we want to become. Right. If we don't dare, if we don't take risks, if we don't try something that we might, uh, at which we might fail, then we almost lose who we really are. We might end up doing something, um, dressing like our friends, um, pursuing the same path our buddies pursue, doing what, what we see all around us just because we think, well, that's, that's normal. That's what I'm supposed to do. But there's no daring involved in that, right? So to dare is to take a risk, to do something that might not seem all that popular but it's quite powerful because it's part of who you are, right? One way to think about it is when you see someone at your school or in a place and you see they're treating someone else meanly, right? Instead of just thinking the only way to dare is to go up and say, hey, don't talk to that person that way. That's really hard and that might be, it might feel impossible to you. But another thing you could do is to go up to the kid who was treated meanly and just say, hey, you okay? And sit with that kid, right? That is also an act of courage, right? So there's lots of ways we can dare in our lives and in our schools. And so Even More Fantastic Failures is a book that explores the ways people have dared, have, the ways they've tried to, to take a risk, to do something great, hopeful, helpful, interesting, profound, um, and it's not always gone well. In fact, they failed, they've been rejected, they struggled, but that gives us hope to know that we are not alone too.